evening. This is The Late Report. Well, gun rights activists say, staged a legislative shootout recently, treating Olympia legislators to an afternoon at shooting range to show them that guns are safe and fun. As a result, there'll be about 20 more congressional openings in the next election than was previously thought. <clears throat> Microsoft has formed a new Internet Platform and Tools division. The Internet Platform branch will design sophisticated software for exploring and navigating the worldwide Internet system, and the Tools branch will make hammers. <laughs> well, the American Basketball League for Women has awarded Seattle a pro franchise which will play in the Mercer Arena. The as-yet-unformed team has already announced plans to leave Seattle unless they get a new state-of-the-art facility. Boeing announced plans this week to build a stretch version of the 747. They say they'll rent the planes out for $70 to high school seniors on prom night. <laughs> Governor Lowry told a rally of union members this week that he feels like he, we need to bring back Charles Dickens to battle the anti-labor legislation that the Republicans are proposing. Asked why Dickens, Lowry said he thought the sight of a dead, decomposed English guy just might scare them out of Olympia. <laughs> medical research studies titled Body for Sale, an inside look at medical research, drug testing, and organ transplants. Repeating that story, a guy from Renton wrote a book. <laughs> the city of Seattle may ask the legislature for permission to charge an extra $10 fee for every car and truck licensed in the city to pay for road and bridge repairs. If that works, the city plans to ask the legislature if it can just go into people's homes and rifle through their drawers and wallets. <laughs> the latest Green Lake Path proposal offers three lanes, one for joggers in wheelchairs, one for cyclists and skaters, and one for women who need to analyze their personal relationships to death. <laughs> Here with an arts and entertainment review is Tracy Conway. Tracy? Thank you, John. Well, if the winter blues are getting you down, I have the perfect remedy. Grab your coat and hat and head for the sunny side of the street, 42nd Street. That's right. The fabulous Broadway musical 42nd Street opened Thursday at the Fifth Avenue, and it is terrific. My foot was just tapping the whole time, and... You know, it just made me realize how much I miss performing in a real theater. Because, you know, I have a lot of dance training in my background. In fact, I, I almost was a dancer. <laughs> Did you know that? Hmm? I'm sorry, what? Well, I was. <laughs> well, anyway, Great. Great. after the show, I went home and I, I practiced all those dance steps that I learned in college. And do you know something? It is just like riding a bike. I mean, it just all comes back at once for you. Cause, okay, hey, for instance, I want to show doing? you. This was your okay. review. This is one of the best. It's like a, a flat. It's a flat. Hey, Tracy. Flat. flat. And then there's T for two and two. Hey, and uh, Tracy. Hi, John. Hey, yeah. I want everybody knows that I love this one. It's a time step. Okay, uh, and you know, Tracy, can we... And wings and wings and wings and wings Hey, Tracy, 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 Tracy. Hey, hi, hey, hi. hi. hey, hi. hi. You betcha. Hey, I'll tell you, let me tell you something. Uh, the, uh, the guy who is actually casting for 42nd Street is backstage right now. Boy, he'd he like is? to meet you, yeah. Really? Yeah, why don't we go back but, there? Wait, I haven't done my dance yet. I haven't done my ballet. Oh, I haven't done my dance. I'm sure. We'll have plenty of time for that later. Come on. my hair. Your hair is beautiful. Is it okay? Yeah. It's <laughs> Finally, state Democrats in Olympia have voted down a proposal to put advertising on school buses saying that it could distract drivers who are near the bus. They say it's much better for the drivers behind a bus to see a bunch of kids doing this. Uh, <laughs>